we have a correct answer on the board. Let's go! All right, now play footsie with Miles. <laughs> You'll make millions. Is this still going? What, this camera? Yeah. Yeah. Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of Stuff. Sometimes we do race car, sometimes we do stuff. I'm Austin and here with me is my lovely assistant Miles. Sometimes I think pickles are just cucumbers that lived in the world too long. I did tell him to say something dumb, that's on me. Yeah. yeah. In today's video, we are trying every alcohol that has sponsored a NASCAR Cup Series car this year. We looked through Jayski and tobychristie.com to compile a list of all the sponsors and then I went shopping. This was not cheap, not at all. Now there are a few stipulations here. Like if we found a paint scheme that included a local brewery or distillery that we couldn't get their alcohol in our area, we're not putting that on the list. They probably couldn't enjoy that either. Yeah, we're doing this for you, the people. Not because we're alcoholics. Also, apparently Sunny D offers a vodka seltzer which we actually had on our Homestead Miami NASCAR trip last year. It's not great. It's about as good as the hotel, if you've seen that video. Uh, but they haven't had that specific beverage on a car. They've only sponsored regular Sunny D, and we didn't count that. Lastly, we are only counting true alcoholic beverages, so rubbing alcohol and cleaning supplies do not count. What about motor oil? Oh, no, no, no! And remember, please drink responsibly and only if you are of age. Don't try this at home. That's why we went to Austin's home. For your first alcohol of the day, you'll be drinking Bush Light. In addition to being one of NASCAR's premier partners, Bush Light is the main sponsor of Ross Chastain's Trackhouse Chevrolet. Bush Light claims to be the coldest, smoothest, lightest lager there is. And at just 4.1% alcohol, there's no feel of cracking a cold one and heading for the mountains. If you guys have checked my Instagram, there's a lot of pictures of me drinking bush beer. Like every barbecue we have, every time I'm at the grill or the smoker, there is a bush in my hand. This is God's nectar. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Yeah, just do like, do like tasting sizes, it's fine. You know, it doesn't have to be the, all right. That's, that's cool. So, what, what are, are we doing? doing? <laughs> so we're gonna start off with some trivia. So this trivia comes to us straight from nascarhall.com. Question number one. At which two tracks did Richard Petty win the most recent? This is, I mean, I don't know. It's gonna have to, all right, fine. I'll be just, I'll just be happy to have spelled the names right. I think that's the bar that we're setting. We did nothing about like the background and that I, I remember NASCAR fondly growing up, but uh, not very, very. I've never heard of NASCAR. Well, you're wrong. Sick. We have no clue. Although he Probably like Coconut or something. Victory totals Coconut. at several tracks. The King won the most races at Martinsville Speedway mm -hmm. and North Wilkesboro Speedway. Okay. Martinsville makes At sense to me. Southern Shore Track, Petty won a remarkable 15 races that year. Who is the only driver to win a Winston Cup, a Nextel Cup, and a Sprint Cup? That's easy. Is there like a time limit on this? Or? It's fine. I, you know what? Here, throw away. I don't think he was. No, he didn't even. He wasn't even in that. It's fine. It's cool. Once again, you're both wrong. God! <laughs> The correct answer, Tony Stewart. Oh, no. He won a Winston Cup no. in 2002. It's my favorite driver. Why? And a Sprint Cup in 2011. I'm in Stewart's final championship season, he won five of 10 playoff races after going winless in the 26th race regular season. Remember like 30 seconds ago when I was like, oh, this is so easy. Look, we guessed the same wrong. So everything's fine. That's something. Cheers or whatever. 
Where did Wendell Scott score his only Premier Series race victory? Oh boy. Oh. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'm not. I'm not sorry. doing great. I don't think they even run at this track anymore. Just kidding. They don't. For once, we have a correct answer on the board. Let's f***ing go! In turn, next question. Question number four. What year did Glenn Wood form Wood Brothers Racing? Nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're both wrong. You are in fact both wrong. NASCAR's oldest race team in continuous service was like founded 50, in Stewart, Virginia in 1950. 50. So next year will be 75 years of Wood Brothers. I hope they get their 100th win, either this year or next year, because that'd be really cool. Question number five, this will be the final question for this round. So I can't okay. lose. <laughs> well. Which NASCAR Hall of Famer was responsible for bringing Dodge back into NASCAR in 2001? You know what? I'm just going to do this because I like him. That's a big text I got there on that. That's <clears> her. <throat> Once again, we have a correct answer. Is it me? It's you. Yeah. What? Go! You know the only Dodge I remember, and I don't know why, probably because I had the die cast as a kid? Casey Kane. Oh, you have to cut that. Please no, please. there's a lot of stuff going to be cut from this. Yeah. Become a channel member if you want to see all of it, cause yeah, nice. we're, we're, we're cutting a lot. Oh no, he's hot miking the bathroom. For your second alcohol of the day, we're switching gears to the Chili's classic margarita. The Chili's Cacharita campaign debuted in February with Corey LaJoy's Spire Motorsports Chevrolet. Chili's Grill and Bar has been serving margaritas since it opened its first location in Dallas, Texas in 1975. Today, Chili's is one of the top sellers of margaritas in the United States, selling around 20 million each year. So we have the two standard margaritas, and then we do have in front the flavor of the month. We got the little shakers. I hope the microphone picks this up real nice. Uh, definitely doing that right now. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you just go ahead and it looks a lot like weak antifreeze. That's incredible. Really happy about that. Cheers. Cheers. That's delicious. It's fine. I don't know if I like margaritas. <laughs> I'm allergic to tequila, no, aren't I? Margaritas are fine. <laughs> Makes me feel like a big boy. <laughs> this is probably the most uh, seen sponsor from the last year for me. Just personally, I'm like, oh, there's the Chili's car again. I don't know why. It just well, they out. did like a whole ad campaign. The couple commercials that Chili's put out with Corey LaJoy, like the one where he's like, I got it. The Chili's car got to run on Chili's fuel. And then he puts the margarita in the Oh, hilarious. Now that makes more sense to me. Hilarious. This probably could run an engine. Well, no, the, it, it died. All right, Smooth. so what's next? All right, so your challenge for this round, I have two identical Lego sets. The person to complete it the fastest does not have to finish their drink this round. Well, no, whoever okay. doesn't finish no, it the fastest no, also has to drink the extra one. That's fine. Because we're gonna finish these anyways. That's, that's fine, like. that's fine. This is this is gonna take some time. Just kidding. Alright, you ready? Ready? Is there like you go? It's, it's just gonna go. Okay, so we're going. We're gonna go now. Oh no! Oh, oh, oh. oh no, I never learned to read. Ah! 83 minus 4,000. Oh god. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Why? Why has this happened to me? I didn't even have to sabotage. I, I would be very surprised if I'm ahead of you right now. You have to be like 12 steps ahead of me on this or you're dumber than I thought. We've been working on this for 10 minutes? 
<laughs> I'm so dumb. I ran out of margarita. <laughs> Maybe that's the problem. See, I screwed something up like nine turns ago. Why do I keep saying turns? Like nine steps ago? Am I actually missing pieces? I was sold a faulty product from Lego. I will drive you some reinforcements. I needed another one of these. Do you guys see a Lego piece anywhere? Buzz buzz. I was supposed to use this piece on... <laughs> on number three. I this up on instruction part number three. It's okay, I'll take my piece of crap. Uh, remind me, which number are we on? Uh, we are about to do drink number three. Oh. May I try that? I'm just curious as yes. to what it tastes like. I have a feeling it's gonna be strawberry or something. It could be peach. It's summer, so it could be strawberry. Mango? Question Man mark? Mango. Mm. Ubiquitous fruit. Very good. I don't know what fruit that is. Does anyone know what the, what the sponsored fruit is? In the comments, tell me what fruit this is. It's kind of like sharp in a weird way, you know? I know they have like a jalapeno margarita, but like now I have to look up when I'm editing this, what the flavor was supposed to be. Yeah. Uh, I've got mango mambo margarita. Mango mambo. I think I taste the mambo. <laughs> it tastes like mambo in here. I thought it was set to wombo. For your third alcohol of the day. May Dale rest in peace. For your third alcohol of the day, you'll be sipping on some Rebel bourbon. Back in 1849, when other brands were using rye, Rebel pioneered the wheat-based bourbon. And that... <laughs> I, I so badly just wanted to yell, wheat. I don't know why. You'll get to that. You'll get that on these big jobs. <laughs> Good enough for government work. Back in 18... You don't have to start back at the beginning. You just start at the sentence. And at the beginning of the sentence, you Back in 1849, when we started shooting. Back in 1849, when other brands were using rye, Rebel pioneered the wheat-based bourbon. And it's that award-winning recipe that continues to defy trends today. Rebel bourbon is unapologetically original and brazenly bold. Rebel bourbon is a sponsor of Kyle Busch's number eight RCR Chevy and a smooth 100 proof whiskey. I don't know if smooth and 100 proof go in the same sentence. You give it. Yeah, it's Cheers. It. Cheers. <laughs> smooth. I don't think you'd make it in the wild west, buddy. So now we have a game for you guys. Oh, goody. It's a little bit of a not so traditional connect four. I can't even count to four. <sighs> <laughs> they said smooth and they lied. So since Miles won the last challenge, Miles will get to go first. Do you just... It's we're, connected we're, we're just bouncing it into you that it in. thing? Yeah. You, your hand has to stay behind the glasses. Put it back. You should be drinking your... A little smooth. What, what happens now? Oh. Butter. Gee, I wonder how this game's gonna go. Oh. Wait, did that go in? One away, I'm one away from a connect four. What happens when we're, oh, I, I, I don't know where they are. 
they've been rocketing violently away from us. At what point did y'all think this was a good idea? And when I realized I forgot all the good games at home. All right. to do it. Going in a different direction. I caught that. <laughs> Am I out of two, four, seven? I have one missing. more somewhere. I have an idea. <laughs> I have an idea. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick, can we just cut to the next thing? <laughs> oh, that was delicious. Smooth. No. 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 And now we've put a towel down for safety. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, that tastes worse than before. All right, I'll just uh, start first while, yep. you're, while you're squinting. Everything's such. fine. <laughs> I thought that was gonna get stuck. Oh. Do it again. The towel dampens the blow. Uh. Do it again. Actually, in the rule book here, <laughs> squishy. Why aren't these full? They are. In turn, they're full in your Fill heart. my beer. They're For your fourth alcohol of the day, we'll head back to the lighter side with Keystone Light. Keystone Light is continuing their legacy of more than 30 years by always bringing fans an easy drinking, always smooth, Keystone Light. Austin Sindrick ran the Keystone Light colors on his Penske Ford at the All-Star Race earlier this year. So like, not a meme. These are expired. Oh. Every store that I went to, to try and find them, they either didn't have them or they were expired. What do you mean? I went to another store after I realized the ones I bought were expired and the ones they had are expired worse. Look, they're celebrating over 30 years of business. I'm celebrating- Yeah, they brewed these 30, 30 years, years ago and they haven't had to brew anymore because nobody buys them. We're, we're the same vintage, it's good. Are you done? We didn't even toast. <laughs> it's okay, the expiration gives it flavor. Cheers. Cheers. Ugh. Like a fine champagne. Yeah, I could go for a bush light right about now. Stacking game for oh, you. It went so well oh, for me boy. last time. My robot is drilling for bush light so we can have more. Oh, that's a good idea. No. What? No. Yep. There's no Another way. way bud. There's no way. Yep. There's no way. Yep. All right, let me just, let me get the, 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 the perfect grade on this. Oh, I got a dude into the camera. You will have two minutes to avoid the, the Lego catastrophe, excuse me. Hasn't started yet. Starting now. Uh, it's not Tetris. It's just who can build the tallest tower. Mm, that feels wrong. Well, I didn't make the rules. I don't make the rules, I just selectively enforce them. Oh no. Mm. 
Do we get like a, a countdown as the timer is about to end? So we can... Top homeboy. Keystone Light sucks. Pour another one. Pour your fifth alcohol of the day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> For your fifth alcohol of the day, you'll be sampling Monster Beast Unleashed. Sampling. The Monster Energy brand recently turned 21, so they decided to celebrate the big day by making an adult beverage. They took out the energy blend, cut the caffeine, and ditched the sugar. After brewing up the smoothest alcohol ever and blending it with their classic flavors, they knew they had a winning combination. This drink was on Tyler Reddick's 2311 Toyota Camry for a top five run at Coda earlier this year. Which flavor is this one? Mango. No. It's peach. Mmm. <laughs> Why would you clink that hard? Is this a video? I'll just drink this one because it's made of... No, I want that one too. Frost. Why are you looking at my toes? <laughs> Look at me. I do enjoy that they built the texture into the can, like the, the special Monster Energy That's cans. That's not gonna work. This appears to be drained antifreeze. I'm not sorry. gonna lie, these I are all pretty good. I cannot drink that. I would rather have the bourbon. I like all these. Miles is the hater. Did you like the peach or the strawberry? Better? I don't think I tried the peach. Let's go, let's go peach. Oh, that's strawberry? No it's wonder, berry. No wonder it's so vile. Strawberries are fine. I have nothing on the That one's actually the best. Yeah, it's very peach rings. I'd say peach straight, is the winner for sure. peach rings. Yeah, I'm gonna give this to the peach. Your next challenge is just a little puzzle. However, you are not getting the box, so you don't have a picture. Oh, Come okay. On, first one wins. Boy, it really smells like drying monster energy drink over here. <laughs> I wonder why that is. This, okay. <laughs> Camera. I bought these puzzles at the dollar store. My puzzle has more pieces than Miles has. I specifically said to Cora, hey, if one of us is winning by a lot, you can kind of give him the easy puzzle and me the hard puzzle. You know, if I remember correctly- you We're made, tied. You made a big deal His about puzzle has like 12 pieces. Mine has like 4,000. This is bullshit. Probably has 100 pieces, but I'm not gonna say anything. No, yours is like 60 pieces and mine is like 200 pieces. I bought these puzzles. His has 60 pieces, I know I'm right about that. Science rules. Bill, Bill, Bill. Bill the eye, the science oh, guy. Oh, we're gonna age ourselves out. That is exactly what I was thinking. Oh, yeah, it's the United States of America. Yeah, he just has to build the United States. I have to build a bunch of donuts? Well, I mean, technically it's North America. Mexico is included in there and a whole bunch of other stuff, so. 50 nifty United States from 13 original. <laughs> Don't make me do it. Builds their last has to chunk. It has to drink all four. I might as well start now. Oh, is that the challenge? I just thought we were building a puzzle, man. Ooh. Ooh, gurgly. Yep, sure looks that way. I don't like this game. I have a trivia question if you'd like to earn the box. Ugh. Go for it. Rick Hendrick formed the team today called Hendrick Motorsports in 1984. What was the team originally named? 40 years ago. Would you like multiple choice? Sure. Hall of Fame Racing, 
All Star Racing. It was All Star Racing. Champion Motorsport. All Star Racing. Mr. H Motorsport. All Star Racing. God, uh, was it All Star sure. Racing? It was All Star Racing. Let's go. The original plan was for country singer Kenny Rogers to be a partner in Hendrick's team with Richard Petty driving, hence the All Star Racing name. Though that didn't work out, Hendrick and his team went on to enjoy great success in NASCAR. Really? Hendrick Motorsports ended up doing well? I ha <laughs> Do you know where Utah is in the United States? <laughs> it's near Nevada, I think. I lost. It's, it's fine. Right. No. I'm just gonna put all these pieces on the floor. Please don't. I'm gonna put all the pieces on the floor. We still have three of these to get through. <coughs> For your sixth alcohol of the day, we have the latest flavored drink from Bush. Available for a limited time only, Bush Light Peach is a crisp, refreshing peach flavored lager with a touch of sweet on the front end and clean beer finish on the back. Even though Ross Chastain is known as the Melon Man, he has piloted the number one Bush Light Peach Chevy at multiple races this year, including at the Chicago Street Course. I'm ready for bed. Soon. Cheers. Cheers. Man, just as good as last year. What's our challenge? Staying alive is our challenge. Uh, 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 staying alive. What's the score, me versus Miles? What's the square root of four? Go. Two. Yes, what's the square root of nine? Three. What's the square root of 144? Twelve. Nice. You're drunk. It's time to play the You're music. adopted. <laughs> you can tell you're drunk because you answered every single math question without saying, why are you asking me math questions? You're a grown man. Drink your fruity beverage. Obviously one. I think they hate us. So while you are enjoying your bush peach, you have a fun game to play. Oh boy. So the trick is to get all of your pieces on the board before it pops. There's a little blue toggle switch, Miles. If you can click that when you are ready to start. start. You... Why? Why? That's not even the right one. Why are you? Is this part of the game? <laughs> I don't know how many sides this has. Oh, this does not go there. Who won? He won. I'm not going to throw everything because everything's fine. All is well. You're breathing really hard. I'm very close to death. <laughs> Have you had any water? <laughs> this is water. Not enough. Cool. So it's time for alcohol number seven. For your seventh alcohol of the day, we're back in the Monster Energy family with Monster Nasty Beast Hard Tea. According to Monster, they decided to check out some hard iced tea from the competition and said, this stuff is just plain nasty. And someone else said, that's a good name. And just like that, the idea was born. At 6% alcohol, it's smooth as silk, but still gets the job done. Tyler Reddick debuted this paint scheme when he won his Daytona dual race back in February. We have original peach and lemonade. Hang on, hang on, I'm getting a call. <laughs> no, I don't know the president. Oh, this smells amazing. Which one's that? I'm, I don't know. Let me smell it. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, 
It smells like... It's just like my grandmother used to make. It's so delicious. Oh, it's this is not bad. It's not bad, is it? Mm. <sighs> mm, that's definitely peach. That tasted like lemon. It's fine. That tasted like liquid. Is the challenge not dying? I haven't died yet. By Monday? If right, I perfect. just drink Thank all you. these, do I not have to think? Whoever has the most matches wins, take turns. What? This is like a clown dog. Miles. Yeah, yeah. Miles. Yeah. If we flip all of them over, they can't stop us. The government knows there appears to be some mischief happening. <laughs> Trying to memorize all the cards. I made a pair. I made another pair. I have two pairs. This is a piece from like seven rounds ago. Is that a good... Is that a good thing? Did you not watch Whistling Diesel's video? Cyber trucks are evil. Oh, we watched. <laughs> just, just muck the cards. Boy, that's gonna be fun to edit later. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to me, the guy that has to edit this. Austin to me earlier, it's gonna be bad when we have no usable content the last hour. So, all right. So. As a reward for still being alive at this point of the video, you'll get a lovely dessert drink from Sugarland's Sip and Cream family of drinks. The Sugarland Sip and Creams are award-winning rum-based cream liqueurs featuring a decadent array of 40 proof flavors, perfect for desserts, cocktails, or an anytime treat. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. had the sip and cream flavors on his number 47 Chevy at Pocono this year. Unfortunately, his race ended about 40 laps early after a crash in the final stage of the race. <laughs> it's rich and flavorful. <laughs> you won't kiss? Now, that had alcohol in it. For your very final challenge. No. Uh, yeah. Pick it's up refreshing. your whiteboards and we are going to oh. name the best and the worst alcohol of the day. Did you say draw? write which alcohol we like the Just best. Draw, yeah. Which one's your favorite and which one was your least favorite? Draw the can. You draw the draw can. can. Wow, that's a bold statement. <laughs> I can't wait till I edit this down to like a three minute video. Mm -hmm. We can uh, we can reshoot it. Next Friday maybe? <laughs> we'll just do this again next week. That says Bush Peach, does it not? It sort of does. No, no, not, not my whiteboard, my whiteboard. Ah. With the nasty beast Arnold Palmer. Oh wait, actually, now I'm gonna go with Bush Light. Favorite is Bush Light. Austin is a cool gay. <laughs> wow, that spelled out clearly. That's All of it That's sucks. Give me the iPad. Out. I wrote an outro. It's a script. We have an outro, people. I told you not to shake the table. You are a legend for making it to the end of this video. We had a blast making this. I hope this was watchable. If you became a channel member, you'd be able to see all of this uncensored with all of this <laughs> And by becoming a channel member, you were helping us afford all the alcohol that made this. As always, I just want to say thank you for watching. Leave a comment if you like this video and if you have anything to say. I definitely have some ideas to do similar stuff like this, like 
There's a lot of Xfinity alcohol sponsors that we did not get to in this video. What do you have to say to the people? I retract my previous statement about pickles. They're just fine. I hope I catch you in the next one. See ya. Miles, you have to wave. Oh, okay.